something unexplainable is happening near our sun. Just as Earth braces for the impact of a powerful solar storm, with solar wind speeding at over 700,000 kilometers per hour, a mysterious interstellar object, officially designated 3I Atlas, vanishes behind the blinding glare of the sun. Then in the quiet that follows, everything begins to change. The sun's magnetic field opens wider than scientists have ever recorded. Streams of charged particles flood outward, spreading like invisible tides of fire through the vacuum of space. On Earth, the magnetic shield that protects all life begins to tremble, as if sensing a disturbance far beyond our comprehension. At first, astronomers think it's a coincidence, a solar event perfectly timed with an interstellar visitor's hidden passage, but as data pours in from observatories and satellites, the picture becomes stranger. Energy surges ripple through interplanetary space. Magnetometers on Earth register subtle but global fluctuations. It's as if something has stirred the sun itself, awakening patterns of activity no one expected at this stage of its solar cycle. Are we witnessing a mere chain of natural phenomena or a cosmic interaction between our star and an object not born of this system, something that defies what we think we know about physics, magnetism and the balance of celestial forces? To understand this mystery, scientists turn their eyes and instruments toward the sun. A vast dark region has emerged across its surface, cutting diagonally across both hemispheres like a wound. This is what solar physicists call a trans-equatorial coronal hole, a place where the sun's magnetic field has opened up, allowing streams of plasma and radiation to escape freely into space. These regions aren't rare, but this one is larger and more active than any seen in years. Imagine it as a tear in the sun's magnetic fabric, a rift that exposes the star's deeper, hotter layers. Through this rupture, particles accelerate to extreme speed in the almost 700 kilometers per second, and surge outward in a continuous storm of high-energy wind. And Earth, spinning helplessly 150 million kilometers away, is directly in the line of fire. When these solar winds reach us, they don't simply glide past. They crash into our planet's magnetosphere, compressing it like a squeezed balloon. The invisible magnetic boundaries that protect us begin to ripple and vibrate. Sometimes, under intense bombardment, they even open temporary cracks, allowing radiation to leak through. The results can be both breathtaking and dangerous. Brilliant auroras rippling across the night sky, dancing all the way from the poles to latitudes where such displays are almost never seen, but also radio blackouts, GPS errors, and electrical grid instabilities that can darken entire cities. Yet, there's something especially odd about this particular storm. Scientists have noticed that the coronal hole opened precisely as 3I Atlas aligned with the sun, an event of uncanny timing. When the sun's magnetic field points south and Earth's points north, they can connect through a process known as magnetic reconnection. Picture it as two invisible doors suddenly swinging open, allowing the energy of the solar wind to pour directly into Earth's magnetic system. During such moments, the planet's natural defenses weaken. Radiation penetrates deeper into the atmosphere. Satellites in orbit experience electrical anomalies. Navigation systems drift. Even migratory animals, whales, birds, and sea turtles, which rely on Earth's magnetic cues, begin to lose their sense of direction. It is one of the most powerful and mysterious interactions in the solar system, and it's happening right now. But the question haunting astronomers is, why now? Why does this particular storm coincide with the hidden transit of an interstellar object? 3G Atlas is unlike any comet known to our solar system. It's a traveler from another star the third interstellar object ever discovered, after Oumuamua in 2017 and 2I Borisov in 2019. Most comets born here, in the cradle of our solar system, are made mainly of water ice, dust, and small amounts of volatile gases. But 3I Atlas is different. Its spectrum reveals enormous concentrations of carbon dioxide, nearly eight times more than any comet observed before. Its chemical signature is alien. It doesn't match the fingerprints of anything that formed near our sun. That means it originated somewhere far beyond the reach of our telescopes, perhaps ejected from another star system billions of years ago, wandering the void until fate drew it close to us. Now, as 3 Atlas moves behind the sun, it becomes invisible from every telescope on Earth. The only clues we have are indirect, fluctuations in solar radiation, 
anomalies in cosmic ray data, and whispers of magnetic change rippling across the heliosphere. It's as though something is happening on the far side of the sun that we cannot see, only feel. Then another coincidence. Within days of 3i Atlas vanishing from sight, seismographs across the Pacific Rim register a chain of powerful earthquakes. Scientists, as always, are cautious. Earthquakes, they argue, are born deep within the crust, far removed from the influence of space. But others note that extreme solar storms have, at times, shown subtle correlations with increased tectonic stress. The sun reacts, Earth responds, and between them, somewhere unseen moves a fragment of another world. Could the gravitational or magnetic presence of 3i Atlas be influencing the solar environment more than expected? We don't yet know, but the timing is impossible to ignore. Astronomers are now debating four possible fates for 3i Atlas. The first, it survives intact, swinging around the sun and continuing its endless journey into deep interstellar space, perhaps never to be seen again. The second, it fragments into multiple pieces, scattering a trail of cosmic debris that could orbit near the sun for years, each fragment a new source of dust and gas. The third, it becomes dormant, its volatile elements spent and frozen by solar radiation, to drift silently until captured by another star's gravity. And the fourth, it disintegrates completely, consumed by the raw, unforgiving energy of the sun. If the latter occurs, something extraordinary could follow. Should fragments of 3i Atlas break apart within the sun's magnetic zone, they might interact with the solar plasma itself, potentially triggering bursts of energy or changes in the sun's magnetic topology. Such interactions could even alter solar wind patterns, influencing how charged particles are distributed throughout the solar system. These events are rare, perhaps occurring once in a generation, but when they do, they can reshape our understanding of how interstellar matter and stars exchange energy. Around the world, observatories are now on high alert. NASA's Solar Dynamics Observatory, ESA's Solar Orbiter, and the Parker Solar Probe have all been directed to monitor the Sun's far side as closely as technology allows. Ground-based telescopes, from Hawaii to Chile to Spain's Canary Islands, are scanning the solar limb, waiting for the moment 3i Atlas might emerge again. If it reappears, even partially intact, it could offer priceless data. Scientists might analyze how its surface changed under the sun's extreme radiation, revealing clues about its origin and composition. It could tell us what materials survive interstellar travel or how alien chemistry behaves under a star's influence. But if 3i Atlas never re-emerges, if it truly dissolves behind the solar curtain, then it will leave behind only mystery. Somewhere behind that blazing light, an ancient traveller from the deep void will have met its end, erased by the very force that gives our world life. The implications stretch far beyond curiosity. Every interstellar object we encounter offers a glimpse into the greater galaxy, into the diversity of worlds and materials that exist beyond our own sun's reach. The study of 3i Atlas may ultimately help us understand how solar systems are born, how they exchange material, and perhaps even how life itself might spread across the stars. For now, all we can do is wait. Wait for the sun to turn, for instruments to pick up the first glimmer of motion where 3i Atlas might return. Wait for the next wave of solar wind to reach us, carrying with it whispers from a realm we've barely begun to explore. One thing is certain. The sun's story isn't finished. It is a living, breathing engine of energy and change, and perhaps through this fleeting encounter it has touched something older, colder, and far more mysterious than we've ever known. And maybe, just maybe, 3i Atlas, the wanderer between stars, is part of a much larger story, one that reminds us how fragile, interconnected, and awe-inspiring the universe truly is.